Alrighty then, I think I'm ready to uh, see the rest of uh, what Hunter Rank 5 has in store for me. Well, actually, no. What I'm going to do in this video is showcase the rest of the Must Runner Frontier exclusives in this game. And to start off, I feel like that I wanted to uh, start off a little bit more standard instead of uh, immediately going after the most uh, the most badass ones uh, like right off the bat. No, I feel like like just I feel like facing the normal monsters first. Also, just gonna go showcase of what I'm just gonna go showcase of what they look like, what they do in battle, and just overall how, of of just overall how good or bad the experience feels for me. So yeah, we got plenty of yep. So yeah, we got plenty to choose from here. Just gonna go scroll up. Okay, okay. Inigami is an Elder Dragon, so I'm not going after that one first. Varsaborosu is a Burst species. Voljang is an Origin species. Let's okay. I'm just gonna go try to look for something much more normal here. Uh, Kamo Lugaron is basically the same as Nono, so yeah. Garabadiora is is also an Elder Dragon, uh, as also a Burst species as well. Uh, let's see here. Just gonna go scroll down. Ah, oh, here's a good. Okay, <laughs> here's a good way to start off. We got Lolo and Ray Galgarf. As I mentioned earlier, these are basically the mini Rajangs in Frontier, and uh, they basically act a little bit similar to Rajang in terms of animations and attacks goes, but they're not really all that brutal in combat. They're more unique in uh, they're more unique in their prowess. Matter of fact, these mini Rajangs are capable of uh, controlling the mag magnetism ability. Don't ask how, because uh, that's basically how the game works. So yeah. Also to uh, also to keep things a little bit more fair, I'm gonna go bring along Lumine since uh, Lolo and Ray Galgarf are faced both at the same time. They're they're the dynamic animal duo of Frontier. So yeah. And just make, make sure if I have enough uh, materials with me. No, I do not. I basically, I, oh yeah, that, yeah. I, I pretty much just had a lot of my freaking just a lot of my stuff just taken from Shang Tian and all that. All right, so Lolo and Ray Galgarf, or is it Gogarf, or I don't know. They're they're just it's just red and it's just uh, okay. Lolo is the red one and Ray is the blue one, and they and they're, and they're fought both at the same time. They're always found, they're always found inhabiting the gorge, and uh, how powerful they are? Well, let's just, well, let's just find out. I think they might be somewhere over here. Oh, yep, there they are, right there. Yep, and they, and they basically move a lot like Rajang, too. Do they uh, roar like Rajang as well? Yep, they do. Okay, maybe they're not exactly the, uh, okay, okay, maybe they're not exactly the- Whoa! Whoa! Alright, so, uh, yep. This is the, uh, final, uh, this is the uh, final duo that is capable of performing team attacks. Look at that. Oh, wow! That is cool. I don't know idea which one to target after, uh, first, so, uh... I think I'll just go after Lolo since he's since he's the one that that, that looks the most more uh, fierce and intimidating. Looks like a looks like a red panda almost. And that magnetism and, and that magnetism only seems to activate uh, when they perform certain moves. Like only certain moves, like not all the time. Where? Whoa! Where did, where did Ray go? Where did Ray go? Okay, there he is right there. He just, okay, so Lolo just, uh, just, just threw Ray into the air and, uh, well, there, what is this? <laughs> this is suddenly Superstar Saga all of a sudden. They just did the, uh, they just did the, boom, uh, brothers attack just now. So yeah, they work in pairs. It's all about the teamwork. Just use teamwork with just 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 fight teamwork with teamwork. I'm not quite sure which one is the most dangerous, but I assume both of them at once are are basically are basically uh, basically the most dangerous. So yeah, they uh, use the same moves as Rajang, but have their own types of attacks to use against you when they're when they're together. That's cool. 
Like that, for instance. So, I'm guessing that their magnetism only works when they're, uh, only works when both of them cooperate. That's unique. Do they, uh... <laughs> Where? Okay, 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 never mind. Okay. So, Ray just basically just appeared in the air, and I couldn't really. I, 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 I really cannot uh, scroll that far up on the, on the camera. I can only go like. Uh, I can only go up so far up. Looks like they're enraged. Yeah, they're. they're oh, yeah, they're really enraged. There's. The, <laughs> Their first is a result is just pointed up on on the top And I just got killed instantly holy shit. I'm gonna be careful of that move. Wow Once again that explains it. I did not put on my freaking skins uh, And drugs skins and drugs and not put those on oops Oh Let's go back inside and uh Take a look at their and, and 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 just view the rest of their performance, and they're still enraged. Whoa. Okay. I don't know. What? I think I, I think Lolo just did a freaking just did a freaking roundhouse kick. Just lifted itself up. They're not exactly all that strong as Rajang. It's just the it, it, it's just the animations that look similar. Uh oh! Looks like looks like they're trying to cooperate right now. I'm being careful. So whenever they look at each other, I'm I'm t I, I'm being wary. I'm being extremely wary. Yep, and that's done. Oh, it looks like uh, looks like Lolo's not raised anymore. Yep. Fur's not up. Uh, whoa, fur's not really uh spiked up all the way. Why are moss wine aggressive? In this game. I don't need to question I don't need to question Apsaros because Apsaros are always like that. Whoa. These are pretty intense monsters, I gotta say. Where did Ray go? Where did Ray go? Oh look! Wait. Oh wait, never mind. They just both of them just moved. Thank you, Illuminate, for keeping track of them. Uh, which way do they go? Do they? What? Oh hey, Ray. I see you got separated from. Lo Are you lost like me? Cause I'm Zoro. I think he. I think him. I think he might have lost his way. I was like, hey, what are you guys waiting for? We're waiting for you. Hey, just hey, hey, Ray, do me a big favor and uh, tell them that the room that 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 will be waiting for them in the cave. Okay. Pretty sure that's pretty sure that's what it's like. I gotta be careful. My my my, my health is, is halfway right now, and I don't want to take any chance of getting killed instantly by these guys. Even though this is, even though this is high rank, these guys deal quite a lot of damage. So I'm only, okay, so, so I only get hurt by uh, so I only get hurt by uh, Ray when, uh, when when Lolo throws him. I'm gonna go sharp one more weapon real quick. Careful that whoa! Oh my God! Yeah, be careful. I didn't even have the chance to sharpen my entire weapon completely. And wait, no, no, they're not enraged. Wait, wait, maybe they are. I can't tell. Do they, do they run forward or do they tackle? They tackle! I think I'm supposed to be extremely wary of those uh, blue feathers? Appearing on the ground? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot, I always forget, I always, I always, I always forget about using demon dance on, on, on the dual blades. It's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the, the the one of the reasons why I failed the Shang Tan Repel quest, and also because I I didn't use a hawk pot.
Oh my god, that is strong. It's strong magnetism more than Recordiora. Very strong magnetism. I'm impressed. Whoa! Okay, so they do charge after me. It's similar to Rachang again. I'm gonna go use my Transcend right now. And one last thing Mega Dash Juice. Alright, alright, Lolo. Give it all you've got. Oh shit. Hit him a bunch of times with the with the transcend active so I can give him the uh, elemental debuff stat. Not sure how long it'll last, but uh, just gonna go carve your ass a million times. Don't mind me. Stunned him. Is that an idle animation or is that or, or is that signaling that signaling? That, he's not doing anything. What the fuck? I don't know the timing of avoiding that attack. See, these guys in America, <laughs> just gonna go like, imagine seeing these guys in America's Got Talent. Oh no, they're mad. Yeah, they're really mad. They're pissed. And my and I'm bouncing back on flashing. Oh god. I'm surprised I didn't have the carving knife uh, on my... didn't have the carving knife on freaking Transcend on. I don't know why. Ah, oh, crap. You know, I'm back inside. Yeah, you, yeah, you eat your meat somewhere else, Lumine. Okay, I know for a fact that if is... that if Ray is killed first, Lolo gets... I'm guessing permanently enraged. Uh... So let's go after Ray. <coughs> Lolo seems to be the most uh, seems to be the most strongest one of the, the strongest one of the duo. <coughs> Trying to showcase as much as possible because uh, these guys have a lot in store, a lot in store with combat. Yep. Same quick, just like that. Oh my god. I still gotta be careful. Oh no. Okay, they're moving. Hey, Ray! Your buddy's waiting for you. There you go. Went this way. Go for my weapon real quick. Make sure they don't really notice me all that much. Yeah, the freaking Genprey can just fuck off for all I care. Uh oh. Here comes more team attacks. Okay, that animation was actually kind of dull. You didn't really actually see Ray get kicked up in the air. He just vanished immediately when he just jumped on top of Lolo. I don't know. Might have ran out of money. That shouldn't be possible. There we go, stun Lolo. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going. I'll go after. I'll go after Ray, and Lumine goes after Lolo. Because if either one of them is not, either one of them is not, is either one of them is not uh, being being hit, bad stuff is gonna go down. Uh, oh, whoa! Oh my lord. Yeah, I really need to learn how to how to freaking dodge that dodge that move. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just skip ahead until uh, something big goes down. Okay, that was a lucky shot. <laughs> this freaking stunned Ray immediately when he just went back down on the ground. Still, Ray hasn't died yet, so, uh... Oh my god, they actually appear in the entrance now. Does that mean they're weak? It might be getting close. But I still need to take care of both of them. 
Thankfully, it's not as, uh, thankfully it's not like the, it's, it, it's not like Arugunasu and Gorugunasu, where you have to take care of them down a, 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 like a, in a specific way. You just, have, you just have to take care of either one, doesn't really matter. But, uh, if you take, if, if you kill Ray first, the fight will be, the, the, the fight will turn harder. But if you kill Lolo first, which is pretty much the leader of the, which is pretty much the, uh, group leader of the duo, uh, Ray will retreat. But I'm not quite sure if you can actually get cards from both of these monsters at the same time. You can only get like one, maybe either car from Lolo or Ray. Actually, you can. Actually, you can get get cards from both of them. I'm just I'm just focusing my efforts on Ray. Lolo is the most dangerous one. Ray seems to uh, be uh, be the more jump savvy expert of the duo, and Lolo is all about the power. Throws in power. Ray's about the jumps. Ray jumps a lot, so I gotta be careful. So whenever that happens, stay back. Lolo just uh, does a little, just little, does a team assist, right? There's a team assist. They're basically the same, but uh, has their own unique set of attacks. The spin move. I'm surprised he doesn't get injured when he just when he just knocked when he just knocked into the wall. <laughs> and I just got hit by his tail when he was sliding. Okay. I have no potions left, so I'm risking it. I'm actually risking this. See if I can actually kill him without getting myself killed. Tackle attack. One. Going back. Whatever he's doing. Going back. Gonna attack. We Get a little... Get that kick right there. Knocked him down. Good job. Hey, there's the kicks. Looks like the one more. Looks like the one more team attacks. That one was a little bit more different. Uh oh, Lolo, don't you dare! Just continue. Just continue with targeting Lumine, because that's a, that's pretty much the reason why I have Lumine with me, so I can have I can have, have her as a distraction. I have no idea what that purple mist is for uh, whenever Lumine just like. Place things. Every time when I have my partner with, whoa, that was close. Every time when I have a partner or NPC with me, they always spray this really intriguing purple mist on the ground. I have no idea what. Uh oh. There we go. Knock him down. Lolo's mad. Lolo's Ray's gone. Ray's dead. Ray's dead. Now it's after Lolo. Permanently enraged. Careful though. One car. Oh my god. Yeah, he has a he, he yeah, he actually has a reason to be enraged. Because we pretty much killed his best friend. I'm surprised you missed there, pal! I don't think your vengeance is all that is all that strong enough. Oh wait, that was my last life. Oops. Oh well, at least I got my carbs from from Ray. All right, on to the next frontier exclusive. Trophy earned, whatever that means. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that Ray, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Lolo and Ray Golgarf have uh, have more attacks to use in G rank, like more team attacks. I only saw like three of them, and and and, and, and honestly. It, uh, honestly, it was really cool. It, it, they were really cool, and they were really cool together. And I honestly have to say that these guys are a little bit less, less or more or less tolerable than a normal Rajang. Probably because they're smaller and they're, and probably because they're smaller and they're hurt and, and their uh, and their hitbox sizes are a lot more fair. 
Plus, they're not always angry. They're just... They're just... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. They, they, they don't always get enraged 24-7 like Rajang always does. And they don't shoot lasers. And they always don't trick shot you. They're always about the physical force and magnetism and teamwork. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really like that. Oh. Wait a minute. My... Is that some kind of rock that I get from uh, monsters that have the magnetism property? I also got, uh, looks like I might have got an ear or tail from Ray. This is obviously a pelt from Ray, so... Put in those right over there. Gonna go have, I'm gonna go have those, I'm just store those in my box as a keepsake. Alright. Next one. Up next is Photokururu. The bird wyvern that inhabits the flower field. Another exclusive area in Frontier. This bird is capable of, uh, of extracting nectar from flowers. Depending on the type of color that, uh, depending on the type of color of flower, the nectar it, the, the, the nectar it extracts from those flowers will grant it those, will, will grant it, it will grant it an elemental property in the process. So, for example, if, uh, if Photokururu extracts nectar from red flowers, it gains a fire element. Yellow, electricity. Blue, I think, is, um, I think it's sleep. And, uh, purple one is poison. Also, there's something pretty interesting about the flower field in general. Or flower fields. I'm, I don't know. It's just the flower fields, flower field. I'll figure it out. I'm just gonna go, uh, get my, just go, just get my, get some, boof, I'm gonna get some buffs here. And there we go. We're all set. Also, I gotta go make sure if I gotta get some antidotes because this thing is capable of poisoning me. Gotta be careful about that. Alright. This is a fan favorite uh, monster in Frontier. Well, mostly because of the uh, music that plays inside uh, the flower field. They, they call it Photokururu because... Uh, they call it Photokururu's theme because, well, obviously enough, uh, it's a monster that inhabits its area solely, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure if there's any other monster in the flower field that can, uh... I'm not quite sure if there's any monster in the flower field that, uh... That inhabits... Any monster that, that inhabits the flower field, but, uh... I'm pretty sure that a gigantic eagle... That, that a gigantic, uh, green eagle... Eagle in appearance hummingbird is... Pretty much... Uh, pretty much all you can have in here. And... Yeah. This is the flower field. Look how luxurious the background and and setting is. There's some uh, there, there's some there's some there's a flower patches on here and uh, everything is beautiful as far as the eye can see. I'm a lot more. Uh, I've seen some footage of what's down here. Apparently there's a uh, apparently there's trails of poisonous flowers uh, that uh, that 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 take you over to the next area. Another interesting factor about the flower field is that uh, there, <laughs> there are some interesting, peculiar inhabitants that are that are in this area. They are called Irukis. Irukis. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce them, but uh, they are not enemies. These are basically uh, some kind of a species native to, like some kind of native tribe species that that inhabit the flower field. And apparently, when Photokururu, uh, apparently Photokururu is basically an enemy, is basically the major enemy that, that pretty much, like, goes off, that, that pretty much lives, or like, I don't know, intervenes in the flower field. These guys are friendly. These guys are really friendly. And they're also really fucking adorable, and, 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 the, the, and they're also really fucking adorable for an added bonus. Looks like these guys just, uh... They're really curious, uh, they are really curious creatures, and, uh, it, it looks like they don't do much when there's no danger in the vicinity, but when there is, they immediately put their efforts into, uh, into attacking Photokururu, because, uh, I'm guessing, uh, Photokururu is, is, a, is a major pest that, that, that can appear in the, in the flower field, and these, and these little critters, uh, like to, uh, just keep things more, keep things, uh, peaceful and secure. I'm guessing. And as you can see, uh, one of the Irukis just uh, threw some kind of little, uh, threw some kind of item that, threw, threw some kind of uh, paintball item that, that, that pretty much healed, that pretty much healed my, that pretty much restored my health a little bit. 
Not quite sure what else they can do, but uh, they're very curious creatures. Very curious in nature, and uh, every time when uh, every time when you're when you're right next to them, they always make these uh, really cute sounds as a form of communication. But you can't really understand what they're saying. But they're helpful. They actually help you in these quests, except these motherfuckers, because who cares about these guys? I'm gonna go stab them a million times until they die. Freaking! They had to put both fangos in this. They had to put both both fangos in here. Wait, what was that? Something just, okay, something just, like, something just exploded in this field for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's, like, some kind of warning, I'm guessing? Wait, wait, small, and wait, small, wait, small monsters actually respawn that quickly? Okay, that's just not fair. At any rate, let's just, let's just, let's just, uh, focus our efforts and find it. There she is. And there's fucking congas in here because that fits just fart in the flowers and just like fart in the flowers and just make the make the area stink there goes the beauty and speaking of beauty here it is the one and only photo kururu basically has uh, the, the exact same or similar okay never mind it's not the exact same it's very elegant and very elegant in movement very elegant movement, but I'm not all that fond of uh, of the face. It, the face looks really ugly. Everything else is is a spectacle to look at. The way it moves, the way it attacks, and this thing is quite powerful. Holy shit! All right, gonna be careful and heal myself a little bit. I want to see this thing fly. Come on, Photo Kudo. Show us, show the world how how marvelous, how, how marvelous you truly are in battle. It looks like this thing is enraged. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's enraged. There's, there's some, there's some. That's just like a wing attack, wing attack move we just pulled out there. And there's the Arukis. It looks like that. It looks like the Potokururu is attacking the Arukis as well. Because I'm guessing it just wants to get them out of its way. Just want guess to get get them out and just get them out of its way and just like I don't know, just have just claim this claim the flower field as its as its territory. I mean, I'd accept it. Wait a minute. I just got stenched. Oh, that's not good. I don't have any deodorants with me. Don't even, don't even, think, don't have anything to get rid of the stench, but uh, just uh, run around and just watch out for. Okay, okay. So uh, every time when you use that move, it's just a slight slap, slight, slight wing slap. Such a magnificent creature. But I have not really seen, I have not seen everything about it just yet. So the more I attack it the more elegant it becomes. So let's go. And I have no idea why this thing just deals so much damage. Holy shit. Uh, the Ruki will help me out with something. I'm gonna go attack it a little bit and uh, just uh, take a look at what it does. It's besides a freaking tail, tail strike attack. See that every time. Okay, just, just, a, just, a, just another, just another, another, Get the hell away from me, kind of move. Again, completely forgot about the freaking spirit slash combo. Its eyes are. Its eyes have black pupils. There's black pupils on its eyes. Oh, there we go. Now it's. Okay, now it's angry. I think it begins. Is it, what's it doing? Is it moving or attacking? Okay, it's moving. Way to go, rookie! You repelled the. Yep, way to go, rookie! You just uh, you repelled the. Uh... You have repelled the Fortakuru, but uh, it 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 moved to a different area, so I'm not going that way. I'm gonna get poisoned. Wait, they respawn that quick? Okay, but uh, Kirby enemies. So it's, that's what I always call. Uh, that's what I always call enemies in video games every time when you just like uh, go like slightly off screen and then go back and then and the enemies just appear just like that. I always I, I, I always call them Kirby enemies. 
And there we go. Oh no, it's getting poisoned. It's getting it's getting the poison element. Gotta be extremely careful. And when it gets poisoned, it creates poisonous puddles. And the and the design changes color. Oh my god. That is cool. That is that is beautiful. Also kinda deadly. My god. The color of its wings changes. Every time every time it secretes nectar from those flowers, it also changes the color of its wings. And feathers. Or just just changes color when it when it's like the, just drains the energy. And these both angles are still annoying little bastards. Oh my god. Aruki, a little help, please! And there we go. Just spins magnificently in the air. Goes in tandem with this beautiful music. It's a work of art. It really is. It's going green. Is it healing me? No, it's not! Wait a minute. Oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 I just realized something. Every time when, uh, every time when Photokululu just, uh, uh, every time when Photokululu just, like, um, does that, you can actually get healed. This actually heals you. The green nectar heals you. Purple nectar, purple nectar, uh, poisons you. Red nectar burns you. And, uh oh. I'm pretty sure this is the red nectar right here. Gotta be careful. It's got the poison again. Oh, wait, no, it's it, 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 it's still got it's still got the still got green. Wait, is it poison? So don't get hit by Photo Kururu and just get hit by the blobs of green that it fires at you. Do me a favor, please, and do just that. I need healing, please. Gimme. I don't think it wants to. Okay, it's moving again. Congratulations! You repelled, you repelled it again. Hey, Haruki, can you do me a favor? Hey. Help me. Come on. Do you have something to heal me or no? You give me items? Okay, that just... Oh, okay, that just sprouted up. They just sprouted out spontaneously. Oh, Transcend's ready. And I, I still completely forgot to put on my freaking drinks on. Oops. Oh boy, there's more flowers. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That's fire element. Why does this thing still deal so much damage, even in high rank? Well, it is high rank, so obviously it has to deal that much. Uh, obviously it has to deal a lot. I think I just got myself stung. And there we go, there's a fire element. It's also gonna go have red all over its body and I just died oops <laughs> you know these I you know I feel like these fights would be a lot more satisfying if I had extreme style on but I, but I haven't unlocked it yet so this is as good as it gets for now okay so that's what it looks like normally or actually that's what I'm used to seeing it look like have red on its feathers. That's what the artwork looks like on Photo Kururu. It's just it just has a has a white feathers on the on, on the back of the tail, on the uh, on 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 the back of the tail on the, on the wing membranes and uh, and the and, and, and underneath its uh, throat as well. That's deadly. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Uh, Photo Kururu is dangerous. It's beautiful, but it's it's very dangerous. Uh, maybe I, okay. Yeah, maybe I do need to have extreme style fighting this thing because this is a little bit crazy. Uh, let's see. Gonna go shove him a weapon real quick. 
or just or just do what every single muscle owner game t teaches me and just adapt to adapt to the they're, they're actually killing the poor Kelby what are, what is wrong with these guys they just freaking kill the Kelby by throwing a stone at it. Okay, that's that's that, that's mean, but I'm I'm out. I'm honestly impressed. I'm honestly impressed that he have strong arms, and it's moving again. No, we got he got knocked over. Ah! Stupid fucking Malfango! Pay for that. Oh my god, it feels like Bofango's in these games, Bofango in this game is more annoying. And they are. So they always get rid of the small animals. So the Iruki's job in, uh, so the job of the Iruki's in, uh, in the flower field is to get rid of all the small ma small animals so that way they can just proceed with their work in gathering the flowers and nectar. But when Photokuruu is around, they just group up and just and, and, and just try to make it go away. Okay. I wonder if I, I wonder if the Iruki can actually give me some give me some items. So these pink flowers have Stench written all written, written all over written all over them, and I'm just gonna go through here. What is this? Wait a minute! Oh God! I should have seen that coming! Whoa! 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 Oh my God! This might be, this must be the the, the home of the Arukis. Because uh, this is uh, basically how the, uh, is basically their security system, I guess. Poison flowers, and a, uh, and, and, and a flower, and a flower trapped up. Just, yeah, it's like, it's their, it's their, it's their form of security. Security, and I'm poisoned. Oh my lord. Uh, that's, you have a really, you have a really big security system, Arukis, I gotta say, but I think it's a little bit much, because what if there's tourists or, uh, or some kind of, I don't know, visitors that just want to, that just actually want to take a look at how exquisite this place is in design. I have no idea where Furukuru went. Okay, this has actually got my attention. I'm a little bit too curious for my own good. I just want to see what's over here. That's all. Okay, so it's just a fishing spot. I thought there was like some kind of village for the Arukis, but uh, no. This Arukis just busy. What? Oh wait, no. It, it dropped a shiny. It dropped a shiny. What is this? What is this? Oh, you should have. What did you give me? What did you drop? It's just, it's just for me? For me to pick up? Oh, you're so kind. Oh, I got a fish! Oh wait, no, I actually stole its fish. I can't give it back, I'm sorry. There's plenty of it over here anyway. These guys are so adorable. Look at them. Look at them. They're like the uh, frontier, they're, they're, they're like the frontier version of Palicos. <laughs> oh my, and the noises they make is just so precious. I wonder if you could actually perform emotes with them. I'm gonna go try that out. I'm gonna go try that out. Ah, oh, damn it! Maybe I'm not supposed to walk directly in the center of these uh, fl of, of, of these carnivorous flowers. And I get my got myself poisoned again. Where is Photo Kururu? Where did they go? Do not accidentally hit the Urukis. I don't want to find out. What, I don't want to find out. Oh, I want, okay, I, want, I just want to perform justice with them. Hey, hey guys, what's up? I think that one just got knocked out. Hey. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so I need to perform. Jay! Jess! There you are! Found you! No, no, it found me. Of course you're, of course you're going after the nectar. Get out of here! No, oh, no, that's fire element again! Not good! Oh, God! Oh, Lord. I gotta be careful. This is my last life. Where, 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 where did he go? She go. It go. I don't even care. Dying by this thing is satisfying because look look how beautiful it is. Graceful movement. Exquisite design. Beautiful. Beautiful monster. If, if you can even call it that, honestly. A little... Little bit hard to, little bit hard to hit too. And oh my god! Okay, let's focus on hitting the head or hitting the body, hitting the tail, hit the from behind. Where do I, where do I target? Where do I target this thing? Oh. Oh wow. So that's the reason why. So that's the reason why. Whoa! Honestly, I just like I I I just like looking at I just like uh, witnessing Photokurudu just spiral just just rapidly spiral into the air. Come on, give me that thumbnail. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, okay, okay. That, that okay. That, that was actually a little bit too far. That was a little bit too far up. Go. Oh, come on. I can hit, get about the tip of its wing there. And the wing design is... And the, and the wing design just changed and I'm dead. I think I might have seen enough of Photokurudu. Beautiful as it is, it's a little bit annoying. But that's just... But that might be because that uh, might, might, might... Might be because that, I don't know, defenses aren't all that high. Get some decorations or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just playing for show. Next, I completely forgot to put on my freaking uh, Lao Shan Lung combine combination claw. That explains why I was taking so much damage because my power and my and my defense was reduced quite a lot. Oops, I won't make the same mistake again. All right, so uh, we saw Lolo and Ray Galgarf, and we saw Photo uh, somewhat. I feel like I should like a retry that sometime. I don't know. Up next we have Bedo Kirosu. I'm gonna go have to. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, like um. Okay, as I uh, as I mentioned before, Bedo Kirosu is like one of the most intelligent monsters ever designed, and I really like to. I uh, really like to experience it. I really like to experience of how intelligent. I'm gonna go do that by. Uh, I'm gonna go do that by using. I'm gonna go do that like um by, by fighting this thing with different weapons. I'd really like to see this. I My expectations are through the roof right now. Beto Kirosu pretty much has the chance to like be one of my favorite monsters based on design and concept and all that. Or front, or like like favorite monsters in general, in, in general. It's gonna be exciting. I cannot wait to see it. Though I gotta be careful because I'm not quite sure of how, of, how, of how smart or intelligent this thing is. So uh, I just gotta go have to beat it at its own game by just memorizing of uh, Memorize and learn its intelligence. That's basically what I'm gonna do. And the oh, fuck, there's cactus here. Can I gather from this cactus? Can I attack the cactus? Is Varo Saboroso going to prevent me from cutting this cactus? What happened to the cactus? It didn't. Get, it cut. It got cut down. But what? there's a lot of them right here. I'm guessing Beto is way up here. Yep, there he is. That tiny ass shadow with this. Big ass creature about to come right on down. Or maybe it's moving. <gasps> yeah, there it is. There's Beto Kirosu. It's flying. I'm gonna go lock onto him right now. It's flying. A lot. It's not on the ground, it's just completely airborne. It's looking at me like it is looking at me like the, as if it knows what weapon I have on me. So it's airborne. Whatever. What else? What else this thing is capable of doing? Well, show me. 
Oh my god. Was it? What is that? I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing when it does that, it, it, I'm guessing when it like uh, moves around like that, it paralyzes me. Okay, so it stuns its tail on the ground. It's really hard to hit this thing. Oh my god. All right. So its tail whip has electric properties, and that paralyzes me if I get if I get touched by it. All right. What else? Tackling. Hit it once. I'm actually... This is actually kind of difficult. But for the best reason. This thing knows exactly what it's doing. Okay, just like some kind of whiplash attack. That's with its uh, with little membrane strikes. I'm pretty sure it's trying to bite me this time. Oh my lord. And I just died. Oops. My bad. Oh, yep, that explains it again. I completely forgot to put on a fucking mega demon dragon armor skin. Oops. Why am I suddenly dying and and why am I suddenly dying and like like taking that much damage in these quests only? I wasn't really struggling all that much in higher in, 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 in Hunter Egg 5, like Hunter Egg 5 before, but now I am? What gives? Uh, maybe something happened. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go analyze this guy. Not from a distance. You're gonna go analyze it up close because this guy has a lot of distance. I'm just gonna go climb up. I'm just gonna go climb up the vine instead of like throw myself up to it. It's much more faster and it doesn't take all that long. Let's hope this thing doesn't like. Is it smart enough to like actually knock me down? Yep. Always on, it's always in the air. Bite, bite attack, turn around. All right. It is really hard to hit this guy. Tail turn around twice. Wow, this thing knows already. It's like this, it's like this guy studied the freaking, uh, like, okay, this thing actually knocks me down, oops. It's like this, it's like this monster actually has studied the, uh, studied the weapons it's used, it studies the weapons it's, it's, it's dealt with in the past when hunters fought it. And as a result, it's pretty damn smart. Wow. A little bit too smart. Let me go heal myself up. I'm curious. Is Beto Kirusu always like this uh, when... Uh, is Beto Kirusu always like this when it's... Uh, w w w with every weapon? Or just... Or just... Like, only with, like, longsword or something. Because it's really hard to hit, a, hit an airborne target. I'm only seeing parts of this thing. Oh my god. I'm just trying to roll from that, but it's a little bit hard. Just a uh, electric bite. I'm not quite sure why there's no thunder blight in this thunder blight here for some reason. Uh oh, you turn around. Turn around twice, it looks like. Just attack me. I saw that coming! I saw that coming! I knew it! I knew it! Oh crap, he's enraged. What's he doing now? Oh no. Lot of zappies! Lots and lots of zappies! Oh my god. This thing is gonna go knock me off the freaking mountain. No, you don't! Ah! Did he actually go down here? No, it's like, uh, no, I'm king of the mountain. I'm the king of the mountain. You stay off. Hopefully you're on, hopefully you're not always, wait. Careful. Let's go after the hawk. Is he waiting? No, he, no, he's just moving. He's moving there. He's okay. I still don't know what this cactus is for. Let me just attack it. You cut off a cactus. 
Is that what it's saying? Is that what it's telling me? Wait, maybe it gives me bust when I cut them down? I'm not sure. Also, I have no idea where this thing went, so, uh... I'm pretty sure I, 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 I'm pretty sure I might have went to the caves. So for some reason, Beto Kirosu is a lot more is a lot more harder to uh, fight than Dora Kirosu. I don't know how anything like that's possible, but hmm. there he is right there. Good thing I got earplugs. I was trying to roll from that. I just died. Okay, gonna go get myself, gonna go get myself a demon drug, armor skin, and dash juice. I'm I'm also gonna use transcend because uh, it's gonna go boost my defense a little bit. This is gonna boost my defense. That's gonna boost my offense or, or, or power. And there we go. Let's go. All or never. All or nothing. Let's go. Now or never. Let's let's do this thing. Okay. Don't know don't know the exact timing of avoiding those attacks, but. Uh, That's a hell of a lot better than Doragirosu's Hyper Beam. That's a Thunder Beam right there. That's an actual Thunder Beam. Is he doing it again? Okay, so he doesn't really turn around when he uh, when he uses that. So he kicks with his feet. Not deal. Oh, nice try, dude. Nice try. It's always airborne. Oh, righty then. Oh my lord! I think this guy got the hang of me already! Okay. I'm gonna try to beat him in his own game. But those freaking flaps on his wings is going to make it so difficult. I guess I'll just attack him from behind, not in front. If I attack him in front, that's gonna be bad news. Wait a minute, he just turned around! What? This thing just turned around and tried to attack me in front! Or maybe I'm just seeing things. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, so shock once. Wait, how many times does he do that? Oh my lord! I'm changing weapons. I'm I, I'm still curious of how of how just intelligent this thing is. Cause that's a lot. I'm gonna switch to the sword and shield. All right, Beto Kirosu, round two. First round was long sword, and now it's sword and shield. Let's see what it's. Let's see how its behavior is this time around. Yes. And there's a shadow. Just immediately go on the uh, air geyser or air air geyser from the gorge, and there it is. This thing seems to always be. Wait a minute. Aha! I see a difference now. It's. Oh, yeah, it's still airborne. His meter is a little bit more easier, easier to attack now. Okay, so it's a tail whip. Oh my lord. This thing barely even tries to attack. This thing could pretty much kill me in a just just kill me at a distance and just not just like not, not bother with anything to hassle at all. It always just stands there. It just always just like stay like stays in the air, almost like as if it knows what it. it almost like as if as if it knows. It already knows. And to think that uh, Doragirosu is the evolved is pretty much the pretty much the evolution of Beto. 
but there's but, but there doesn't appear to be any much difference with uh, with uh, with battle cures all that much. I'm gonna turn around now. Oh man, I was guarding the wrong way. Oh what? Oh oh my lord! I just got hit twice after I dragged onto the freaking edge of the just dragged on just grabbed on the edge of the hill. Apparently grabbing onto an apparently grabbing onto an edge just removes your invisible. Okay, now it's safe to go up. Just go, just go away for the right time to just get up there. I feel like that using sword and shield is a lot more, a lot more prominent than uh, than long sword. He always likes to use his thunder element to uh, to like do the job for him. It looks like. It's really hard to like, um, like heal yourself, in the, and kill yourself when fighting Baro Kirosu because, like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let you do that. Smart ass. I did not mean to Superman die. Okay, he's moving. Wait, no, he's not moving. He's. Attack! King. I had no idea. I didn't know he was enraged. Going up. Please do not hurt me. Please do not hurt me. I'm vulnerable. What is this? What is? That's new. Just trails of thunder that just that just spawn on the ground. He's much, he's much more faster. Trying to take, take care of me with those whips. Oh my lord. It's, it's hard to approach this guy. It's really hard to approach this monster. Okay, he's not in raise anymore. Turn around once, turn around twice, and then do something after the after the second time. Nope. It just it all depends. It's so damn hard to telegraph this guy. Very, very hard to telegraph this guy. Dude! He can literally take care of me! Like without even moving, without without me even moving an inch, just just kill me right there, right where he's standing. Show off. And he moved. Okay. All right, Beto Kirosu. Show me what else you've got besides standing there, pretty much not doing anything. I'm gonna go block that. Wait a minute. If I continue doing that, he's probably he's he's probably he's probably gonna like uh like like use my uh like use my shield block to an advantage and hit me and hit me from there. I'm not sure. He turned around and ah oh, jeez. All right. I was trying. What the? Is that a dodge or a sidestep? What is this? Not dealing with that crap. He's gonna hit me from all the way over here, isn't he? Nah, barely. He's always airborne. That's all I know. Maybe he's always airborne when he's uh, when he's dealing with uh, I don't know blade master users. But with a hammer, it'd be different. Great sword, I know for a fact he does something much more differently. Damn it! It's really hard to fight this guy. Uh oh. 
Don't touch me! You touch me. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, dude. I'm dead. That's enough. Not losing, not losing anything. Using the hammer next. I'm gonna use a hawk pot for only this demonstration because Beto Kurosu is incredibly powerful in combat, so I'm only I'm only using this once. Just this once. The very first time where I actually use a hawk pot is not for not in order for me to progress, but to actually survive fighting a monster just for just for show, because why not? Anyway, let's get let's just get on with it. Let's just yeet ourselves to our let's just yeet ourselves toward the destination we desire. And yes, and we've arrived to our destination. Hello, Beto Kurosu, for the third time in a row. I don't think he's. I don't think he likes hammers. No. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's a real. That's a. Oh no! I had no idea that I could do that. This thing is smart. Back again. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Don't even try it. Whoa! He just took a step back. He knows that I have the hammer. This thing actually knows that I have a hammer on me. So he's just keeping his distance. Wow. What else? All right. It's really hard to aim for the head. Damn it. I just want to take a look at this guy's behavior. This is pretty much uh, one of the many things I always I've wanted to check out for myself cuz uh Beto Kurosu footage is kind of rare. Ouch. Let's go just going to go constantly heal myself and all will be well. Pretty sure he's gonna go attack with his tail right here. Yeah, he is. One, two, three. Damn it! It's like, get off of me. <laughs> I avoided that so terribly. Don't you freaking dare. Don't you dare. Okay. So he slams with his uh, little uh, whips on his wings and his tail, and on the the very edge of that paralyzes me. Ouch! If, it, if I'm being close to dying one more time, I'm abandoning the quest because I'm not taking any more chances. So attack from the front. He'll. Oh wow! Come here. I think I just, I think I just, I think I might have equipped the wrong hammer. One, two, three. Oh, crap. I'm just, I'm just trying to do that one hammer. I, whoa! No. Don't you do that. One, two. All right. Let's wait until I get this, get this, stun this guy. Yep, he took a step back. He wasn't... He, he, he never really did... Whoa! That's range. That is range. That... That is range! Oh my god. Heal myself, heal myself, heal myself, heal myself, heal myself, heal myself, heal myself. That's gonna kill me. 
Retreat, 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 retreat. Holy crap. Yeah, so every time when a better kid goes through, just takes a step back uh, with the hammer. Uh, yeah. It, he was never, he, he never really did that with any of the swords I was using, so. That's, that's unique. Uh, is that pretty much all it does when I'm using the hammer? The, the attacks are the same, the, the, the floating there, the, the, the floating there in place while attacking is the same. Wonder if the uh, same can, wonder if the same thing can also be said with the great sword, like a great sword charge. I'm pretty sure like uh, when you're in the middle of charging it, like uh, directly on it, it was like, uh, just take a step slight to the left, it's like, nope, you're not gonna hit me, I won't let you. I know exactly what you're doing. I have yet to know exactly what you're doing because you're really freaking hard to hit. I think I stunned him. Oh wow, I knocked him down too. And I stunned him. Knocked him down and stunned him. Oh god, he's pissed. He's fucking pissed. He's fucking pissed. He is not a happy camper. He's not a happy camper. Not happy. Not happy. Not happy. He's gonna kill me! Oh my lord. That was close. So when Beto Kiroso is enraged. Oh lord. Yeah. Whoa. Alright. He's gonna turn around. Wait, he's on the ground now. He's on the ground. He's no longer freaking airborne. He's he's on the freaking ground. Oh no. Oh my. No 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 I have no idea what that is, but I'm staying far away from it. Using it like four times in a row. I'm guessing if I stand in there, I get paralyzed. What else would it be? Oh my. Okay, I just get hit by the freaking wing. Oh! Um! What's he doing? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm staying far away from that. You know, Vol Cross is just perfectly fine with everything. Oh God! All right. Oh, he's not in raised anymore. Yeah, he's back on the air. Whoa! One, two, three, and what else is he doing? Stops. Does something else? Oh my god. Jeez. Nope! That almost hit me. Damn it, I missed. Shit! I think it's safe for me to abandon quest now! Too late. Not the best great sword in the world, but uh, at least it's better than nothing. Green sharpness against uh, against an intelligent monster that is capable of paralyzing me and uh, just putting me ways above my league when fighting the damn thing. But uh, yeah, let's let's go let's go do this one more time. And after that, I have no idea what's next. Once again. We are back with fighting Beto Kirosu, and this time, I'm prepared. I'm using a hawk pot. There we go. Look at all this defense all over my- What the fr- Okay. That's a- That's an interesting way for you to appear. Just- Just- Just freaking appear, like, land, and immediately just shock me. You never do that. Wait, is that greatsword exclusive or something? Well, at least, at least, at least my damage, at least I'm getting less damage on me. I'm, 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 less damage is being dealt on me. Apparently, uh, in Frontier, the great sword works a lot, works a lot more differently. Apparently, uh, I'm pretty sure this is heaven style. Great sword. Oops. 
Apparently, you can actually charge the uh, the backward strike. You can actually charge it. But that's uh, I'm pretty sure that that's only in uh, heaven style. I'm pretty sure I have the heaven style uh, great sword equipped because if I if I, I I I actually can't use the uh, can't use the, the the forward charge. That doesn't work. That, that's only like on uh, storm style great sword. But yeah, there. And apparently I can't. Apparently I can't guard either. Apparently I. I guess I just chose the worst combination of. Uh, I chose. I chose the worst combination. Aha! I see what you did there. Very cunning. Very cunning, Beto Kirosu. Right when my greatsword slash was about to unleash, he just took a step back. It's like, oh no, I'm not getting hit by that. Mm -mm. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go like, I, I actually love my body and I want to protect it with all my, with, with all my passion. And uh, it's too beautiful to be scratched by something so big and threatening. I wonder how many times you can actually do that, like on occasion. Cause I just hit him right there. I'm gonna do it right now. Do it again. Aha! Nice try. You're in front of a wall. I hit you. He just bit me. That's rude. That's kind of rude. I thought for that. I thought that wouldn't hit me. I'll hit that tail. I hit the tail, but uh, nothing. Oh god! Smartass. I have no idea how the hell to avoid that move. What a show off this guy is! But I can't help but admire its design. Well, not the design design it looks, but by the but 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 you know, just the design of how it works in combat. That's genius! That is actually genius. Since when since when will you ever see a monster that acts like this? Never! Never! You're never gonna go see a monster that actually knows what it's doing depending on the weapon you're using. Changes behavior and just like pretty much knows. Like it's aware of the weapon that you're using and just, just uses that to an advantage. So that way your attacks will whip and so it will punish you for it. That is unless you can actually beat it at its own game. Then the experience becomes a lot more, a lot more enjoyable. But since my defense and, uh, and power isn't really all that strong to begin with, it's it's always winning. Yep, there we go. It's like, oh, great sword slash. No thanks, I choose life. <laughs> I love this. I actually love this. I wish I could actually fight this thing at full power so that way, so, so that way I could just like fight this guy a lot more a lot more prepared, but this is Hunter Rank 5, and I'm dealing a lot a lot of damage is being dealt on me, and these attacks are really hard to avoid, and he's just... Dude. He's spamming that same move to keep me away. He's spamming the same move to keep me away. And I approached, and now what? I just did a bite attack. Just slapped me with his wing. Okay. I think he's moving. Yeah, he's changing your ass. Well, I think I've pretty much seen enough of Beto Kirosu. Apparently, it knows how to dodge. A lot more better than hunters do, and a lot, a lot more a lot more better than hunters are capable of doing, and, uh, yeah. I don't even know what this thing is going to be like in G-Rank, because... I'm not... I'm, I don't know why Beto Kirosu was more dangerous than Dora Kirosu. It's like... It's like Dragon Element is a lot more less less, I don't know, less powerful than Thunder Element? Who knows? 
All right, so the next, okay. All right, so uh, that was a very interesting thing to witness. Next up, we're uh, fighting Pobolo Bolo. I, there's, it's some new monster that uh, I have. Son of a bitch, I stored all my items again. Let's go fight a whale on land. This is called the Pobolo Balumu. I, li I literally do not know anything about this monster at all, so uh, this is going to be interesting. This thing inhabits the highlands, and according to uh, the uh, Monster, Hunter, M Monster Hunter Wiki, it is known as the Creation Sound Wyvern. Sounds enticing. Let's go check it out. Pobolo Balumu is just a... Uh, it's just a it's just a uh, monster the size of a whale and has legs. I'm not quite sure if it flies, but I'm pretty sure it's just it's just like an ordinary uh, monster that just like I don't know walks around and makes sound. It's a whale. I don't know anything much else. Also, one more thing before I begin uh, fighting the uh, whale on land monster. Something special. Something that you're never gonna go see again. That's not the that's the wrong gesture. Oops. Hold on. It's gonna go do this right here. Come on, Eroop. Come on, you know you. Come on. There we go. And now we wait. Why can't we have nice things like this? Seriously. All of the. Every time when you're using the little, every time when you're using the lie down gesture, all of the Eroop in the area will just walk up, will, all the Eroop in the area will walk up next to you and sleep. It's so precious. They're all gathering up all over me and they're all falling asleep next to me. Oh my god. That is so cute. Why can't we have nice things like this? Why can't we just interact with the animals like this? No, we have to kill them because, you know, get their materials and stuff. Why don't I want to kill these guys? Look at them. They're all curious, and every time when you're just sleeping, they, they, they sleep with you. I'm gonna go put, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go make a screenshot of this. There we go. It's got. It's gonna have two more left, and there we go. Come on, little Eroop. You know you want to join on. <laughs> you know you want to join down in the on, on on the sleep. You know you want to join down in the sleepover. Come on. Come on. I know he's just so curious. Look at that. Look at that. It is so precious. Warms my heart. Warms my heart This that you can actually do this in this game. No other game in the main series will ever do something like this. Nope. This is pretty much the last time you're ever going to go see something like this. Excuse me one moment. There we go. Video clip saved. Alright. Sleep tight, Eroop. Oh wait, no, they they all get up as soon as you get up. I love the Highlands. I love the Highlands. Just because of these little critters right here. Look at them. They're all curious. They're just checking me out. And they're just passing by, just sniffing. It's so cute. I'm gonna miss seeing them. <clears throat> Anyway, we got a whale to kill. Or check out. There's one other thing. <laughs> There's one other thing we really need to check out, and it's going to be very interesting. This thing is kind of bizarre in appearance. Very bizarre. There he is! There's Pabano Bolomu! I have no idea what this thing does, but I'm interested to find out. Ow! And he's gigantic. Holy shit. And I'm stunned already. Oh, right. I didn't, I didn't put any freaking... 
That is one massive cre- Ow! That is one massive creature, holy shit. How do I approach? How do I approach Mr. Whale? How do I approach the Whale Lord? Oh god, it's raining. I guess I'll just attack until it dies. Okay, so don't get hit by that move, I'm guessing. I don't know. I hope that roar doesn't damage me. What does the creation sound wyvern, so I'm guessing it does damage me? Yeah, don't don't approach when it's about to roar. What the hell? I'm suddenly a ballerina out of nowhere. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Are you kidding me? I just pers I just performed a random gesture. What? I what? Uh, okay. Can you do it again? I'm curious. Povoro Baromu just made me perform a ballet gesture. <laughs> How? How? I... <laughs> You're kind of weird, but interesting at the same time. Hobodo Baromu, uh, make me do other legendary gestures that you that you are only capable of like performing for me. How did I even do that? Oh my god. What happened? I thought I was stunned for a minute there. Nope! Don't hit me! I'm gonna get struck by lightning. What if I can actually sever the tail? Well, it's covered in barnacle. That way you, that way you know it's a whale on land that creates sound and makes you do ballet lessons. What? 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 Wait, what? I'm appalled! I'm shocked and appalled, sir! Uh... Uh... Can you... Do that for me again? What? No! Ouch! Maybe I'm supposed to get hit by the wind, it'll perform it for me. I'm I what what? I I don't I honestly don't know how that happened. And this thing is so gigantic I can barely I can barely like avoid its attacks. Well That sound wave, I'm pretty sure it Oh! Stunned him! There, I actually stunned a monster in Hunter Rank 5 that demonstrated- Oh, I got shocked and paralyzed! Ow! That struck by lightning, I was paralyzed. And I'm- <laughs> And I'm dancing. Okay. Why? No! I'm staying away from that. Whatever you're doing, that's red aura. Wait. Wait, what? Red aura. Did its attack increase? I think its attack increased. And wait a minute. Its attack increased, and it. I also got the buff. Why are you helping me fight you? No. Ouch. This thing is gigantic. Oh, this thing digs too. Can you emerge? Or did he just move? Yeah, he moved. Where did he go? Where did Pabodo Bodomu go? No. Oh wait, he probably went to the caves. Oh, now you look like a whale in the caves.
And he's still got that it's and he's still got he's still got that attack buff like pace it all over you. Uh what's he doing? He's gonna go hit me with his tail. Yes it is! Jeez. And that killed me instantly. Ouch. Oh, great and wise Poboro Baromo, teach me the ways of your next lessons of gestures that I spontaneously just use out of nowhere. And why do you still have that attack buff? Give it, give it to me too. I want that attack buff too. Come on. Are you jumping? Done him. Attack underneath. Bad idea! Don't attack the guy underneath! This thing is so large. It's... Is this thing bigger than Gamma? Whoa! Don't do that. This thing gets stunned quite a lot. Holy shit. suddenly dying a lot I think this guy is only big enough to go in only two areas and he still has that attack buff oh my lord I have no I, I honestly have no idea how to approach this thing let alone fight it Obviously, you're just supposed to attack it until it dies. Hit it until it dies, and that that tail is so gigantic. So are you, dude. So are you. I'm not gonna go ahead and get hit by any of that. Whatever you're trying to do. At least I was able to stun it like two times. Up. Oh, never mind. I stunned it again. I'll just attack what I can, and just come, just try to avoid as much attacks as possible, so that way I don't get body. Get body slammed by this whale monster. He's turning green now. It hurt me and healed me. And he got, and he got electrocuted by the thunderbolt. By the lightning bolt. Clumsy whale. When I'm actually getting healed when I'm all over Pablo Baruma. I'm actually getting healed when I'm near Pablo Baruma's uh wait a minute. Wait a second. I actually get the buffs from this monster when I'm directly in front of it. But why do they call it the sound creation wyvern if this thing is just just makes me do a gesture like for absolutely no reason. And I guess it's just one way of making them unique. And that attack is just so damn strong. My health is regenerating a lot faster. So so the reason why I was stunning it a lot, uh, the reason why I was stunning it a lot, is because of the attack buff that was all over it. Not only does, not only do the buffs apply to it, but when you're near it, it applies to you as well. So it's a uh, helpful, it's a helpful and dangerous wyvern because you can call it that a wyvern. It's a, it's a, it's a little helpful wyvern that. Uh, that it somehow makes the fight a lot harder because of its attacks, because of its, the powers of its attacks, and also... Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Really, nature? You really had to ruin it at that, at, at, at that time? Really? How convenient. 
Okay, so as I was saying, the fight is a lot harder uh, when you're uh, when you get hit by it, but when you're near it, it becomes easier. That's interesting. Not nothing much else to say, but interesting. I think I might have wounded it. Oh god, that's gonna hit me all the way over here, isn't it? Okay, okay, didn't, didn't create any freaking shockwaves, thankfully. Okay, that was only contact damage on the leg. Whoa! I need guts! I don't have guts! Is it getting another buff? No, it's still healing itself. Wait, is it? Wait, wait, it heals itself. Oh no. There we go. It's done it there. You're an interesting monster, Pobolo Baromo, I must say. It feels like that the uh, most, it seems like the more innovative monsters in Frontier are, are, are all in, are all in like, I don't, and I, okay. I'll just chill here. The more interesting monsters in Frontier all, all, all reside in the, <laughs> all reside in the Highlands. Got good in the boot. Oh, I think that's a defense buff. Wait, no. Yep, that's defense. It gave us it gave itself a defense buff. And it just mo probably just moved back to the caves. Yay, yeah, he's back inside here. So I got that buff up. Wait, yellow. Oh wait, no wait, never mind. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the color changes. Color actually pretty have just changed up uh, in, in, in the color setting in the area. That was close. I think I can sever Pabado Bottomo's tail. There was a poor Vespoid. Oh my god! Whoa! That is one big quake, and I'm good. And I'm glad that I didn't get hit by it. Give me, give me that defense buff. I don't want to get hit by that. Come on, hit the hand. Did something. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Ouch. I thought I was defenseful, but apparently not. Bro, I'm running severely low on potions. Pretty sure this is my last life as well. If I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm staying far away from that. Thank you. Even though it's even though it's just a quake that I can actually avoid. Not avoiding that just deals tremendous damage on me. I was trying to avoid that, but nope. It's pretty risky. I still don't know why I'm taking this much, taking so much damage in Hunter Rank 5 and suddenly. Hunter Rank 6 when fighting the Supremacies? No problem whatsoever. When fighting the monsters that I haven't fought before in Hunter Rank 5? Yeah, it's suddenly become an issue. This is my last, this is my last potion. Let's continue attacking like this. I think I'm pretty much safe, uh, like, hitting the hands more more than the face. And it likes to throw out a lot of sound bursts at me. So that does. And I got gestured. But just for my performance now. Ballerina. Of course. I'll die what I love doing. Dancing. That's, that's so silly. And he's burrowing on the ground. Wait a minute! No, he ain't! Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go run away before this guy kills me. That was, a, that was an interesting, that was interesting. Alright, what's next? Okay, so... 
Okay, so far we've fought Lolo and Rei Galgarf, Furukururu, Bero Kirosu, Poburu Barumu, and up next are, it seems to be, oh wait, there's one more. There's actually one more monster that I need to fight in here, and that is uh, Akura Jebia. I'm guessing this thing acts uh, more similar or basically the same as Akura Bushimu. I'm not quite sure. Oh, only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. Also, I need to go bring along some uh, cool or hot drinks because uh, it's going to be in the desert. Cool or hot drinks? Cool drinks, hot drinks. Oh, why not? I'll, I'll just take both. Why not? Just be, just be on the safe side. There we go. On on the way there. It's neither. I, I, I fight it in the swamp, apparently. Um, okay, and it seems that this is the area I fight it in. I'm pretty sure I fight it in the cave. Because why would you want to fight a scorpion in the swamp outside? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can only fight the scorpion uh, monsters in the caves. Not forgetting about this. It's happened so much already. It's happened too many times already. Just keep on doing that. I don't know why. Any differences? Is it the same? Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so it's a lighter blue color instead of purple. Emerges out the same as Akira Vashimu and uh, looks... Kind of looks the same. Just... Uh, a lot more aggressive, apparently. All right. Oh god, that's that's harder crystals. Those are harder crystals. I'm gonna go attack the. Uh, I'm gonna go attack the claw on the left side instead of the right side. My weapon bounces back for some reason. All right. Yeah, this one's a lot more swift and agile than in, in comparison to like. Yeah, a lot more swift. Holy shit. Oh no! I can't move. Ouch. Crystallization is big bad news! Back at it again with Swifty. He's gonna go charge after me, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I... Is it me, or is Akura Jebio a lot more harder than Akura Vashiki? Move. Yeah, it is. It is it is definitely a lot more harder. The crystallization just uh just freaking sprays up much more faster than the than normal. Ouch. And it deals more damage. Well to be fair, I still am in high I still am, I still am in high rank, so. Please tell me that freaking bulb does not does not explode immediately. What if it does? I'm just gonna go keep my distance all the way over here. Just be on the safe side. Please don't hit me. Please don't hurt me. I'm gonna be on against the wall. Wait for it to detonate. He's gonna hit me. Zero man died. Just be on the safe side. Okay, I'm, fa I'm safe. I'm safe. That's the. <laughs> that was gonna paralyze me if I wasn't careful. Yep. Yep. Pretty much just worked the same as normal Akura Bashimu, but uh, a lot more faster and slightly more intelligent. It's got uh, blue crystals instead of the purple ones. And honestly, the designs of uh, the Akura Jebia weapons are honestly a lot more detailed in, in, uh, than the Akura Bashimu weapons. That's something that uh, uh, Bashimu never does. I think I've seen enough! I think I've seen enough! I have no idea what he just did. I think he just, like, fired some crystallization, uh, just some, some crystal orb at me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's Akura Jebia. Not really much, n not really much to see on there, because I'm pretty sure it just acts the same as Vashimu. Just slightly different. I wouldn't really call, uh, Jebia or, wait, is it Vashimu a subspecies or just, like, uh, like a grown-up Jebia? Huh. 
All right, so uh, next up is the Lavasioth subspecies, or just red Lavasioth because it's just Lavasioth painted red. And my expectations aren't really all that high because it's just it's just Lavasioth. You can go have like a, I don't know one or two different moves. Maybe it's gonna be a lot, a lot more stronger, a lot more defense, a lot more defensive, more faster. Apparently, I doubt that. Uh. Who knows? Could be wrong. So let's go. Lavasioth subspecies. It, it's a mouthful. Let's just call it Red Lavasioth. Why would I? Why in the hell would the freaking item box give me a paintball? You can only go into two areas. All right, here he is, right here. Just swimming in the lava, and uh oh, I'm a brighter red this time. Just coated in lava. Alright, design-wise, looks pretty cool. I like it. Let's see how well you are. Let's see how, let's see how, you know, good you actually are in combat. Okay, that, 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 that did, that pretty much did absolutely nothing. Okay, just normal Avastia stuff. Normal Avastia stuff and doing that little train swivel. Train swivel move. And I, it still has that stupid tail attack to hit me with. It appears to be using this attack more often. Much more often. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Oh look, I got a message from someone that I can't understand. It's like some kind of freaking notification about the Frontier Z. I don't know, like it's gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna like have maintenance or something? Nah, it's not gonna be possible because maintenance was yesterday. Actually, no, heck no, by the time this video is uploaded, it's gonna be past yesterday. It was, it was uploaded on, maintenance was Wednesday. That was very close. Okay, so it's just a Lavasioth, it's just a, just red Lavasioth, hip check, sliding, Lava moves. Uh, whatever, whatever, what else it does. Hmm. Perhaps the attacks uh, might uh, belong. Uh, <laughs> perhaps the uh, additional attacks might, might reside in, might reside whenever it's in the lava. I don't know. It even though that the attacks don't only last all that long. Okay, just a, it's just a just a different way of emerging out of the. Merging all the lava, so that's nothing all that special. And those, and that attack is still bullshit. Yep, bite, hip check, flopping. I think it's a lot more stronger. That's pretty much the difference. It's just Lavasia, a lot more stronger, and you know, whatever. That's gonna kill me. Yeah. No, they're not that special. I'm sorry. You you didn't really you didn't really impress me all that much this time. Frontier Lavasioth. Cannot believe that I'm gonna have to deal with you the way you are right now. By the time when these servers close. <sighs> not saying I like you. Just gonna miss you being like this. That's all I'm saying. Aha! Here's one that I haven't fought yet. The breeding season hypnocatrice. There's normal hypnocatrice, there's silver hypnocatrice, there's breeding season hypnocatrice, and there's zenith hypnocatrice. Japan must really love this bird. And since it's a subspecies of, of subspecies of hypnocatrice, is it gonna be in the uh, Great Forest Peak or just the Great Forest or somewhere else that's not a forest? It's the Great Forest. Okay, cool. And at and in. in just out of every single, like out of all the monsters that I fought in these quests, the last few that I'm fighting are the ones that give me items. I don't, I wish I could understand that. Oh well. Hey, at least I get to see what the great forest, what the great forest looks like at nighttime. So uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be lovely. 
Now it's and now all that's left to find is now now all that's left to just find wherever Hypnocatrice lies. I'm guessing that's well, I'm guessing it's in uh I'm guessing it's in area six. I've already fought in the the first Hypnocatrice the first time. Uh, it's not over here. Okay. Is that a shadow or no? It's not a shadow. All right. Let's go inside the great. Let's go. Let's go inside the tree. Might be in here. Nope. Um, maybe it's in area four, probably. Nope, not here either. Keep on looking. Well, this is a new area I've never been to. Though, it seems to be a little bit on the jungle side of things by having too much variety, actually. But... Hey, at least it's got a at least it's got a beautiful view. And Hermitars to kill. I'm not gonna go not gonna go have deja vu and that not gonna go have deja vu at, at a time like this. No way. That's very nice. I'm just gonna go like maybe Capture a screenshot right here, why not? Oh wait, I can't because it's just gonna go interfere with the freaking HUD on the right side. I need to know how, I, I really need to know how to disable that. Never knew this is the place either. This is where I uh, find the uh, where the shakalakas are. And these guys are painful, apparently. They're like the Arukis, but they're more Annoying! They, they just put me to sleep. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm moving. I'm moving. Nope. Not doing with the likes of you. Sorry. See ya. Okay, seriously, where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. About freaking time. Look how much time I wasted trying to find this damn thing. Hey, there you go. Found you. Now don't go anywhere else. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't move. There you go. Paintball bastard. There we go, painful bastard. Now, now, it's, now it's not going anywhere. Oh, the reason why I was, the reason why it took so long is because it's so damn tiny. Not to mention that it was kind of dark out. It was, was kind of dark outside. Hard for me to notice this damn thing. Anyway. Okay, so it's just a uh, normal hypnocatrice that uh, still has the, still has a sleep, still has a sleep projectile to put me to sleep. Still has the, whoa, what the. I guess larger wind pressure, I guess? I don't know. Fighting. And now it's enraged. That's the same thing Silver Hypnocatrice does. Gotta be very careful. Ouch. Yep, so... Just... Basically the same as silver, but not exactly all that fast. Seems to be a little bit clumsy as well. I just got paralyzed by the fucking Genbrae. And I just got put to sleep. Okay, it doesn't really it doesn't really appear all that much doesn't really seem to be all that much threatening except for the fucking Genbrae paralyzing me to death! And we're getting trampled on by its feet. Don't you freaking dare. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of these stupid men. This is just not working out. Hold on. Get over here, you stupid idiot. Come here. I'll poke you to death. Alright, there's one down. Gotcha. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. What are you doing all the way over? The A's are moving, okay. Good thing I paid for you so I know exactly where you're going. Unless you're somehow intelligent enough to just remove the freaking, I don't know, paint off of your body. Like, immediately. That would be stupid. Okay, it's going to area six. Wait, no. That's... No, I know, that's area five. It's so hard to, so hard to read this. So hard to read that. Where'd it go? Up there, gotcha. 
There we go. We're gonna go attack it a little bit uh, and just like just to be sure if if it's nothing really. Just to make sure if it actually has something special going for it, going for him. It's uh, it's a male hypnotrix. I read the I read a little bit of what it, I read a little bit on, on 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 what it does and what it is and. Uh, Trying to figure out if I can actually find this guy in a specific way, but no. If, if, if I'm actually missing out on something of exactly how to find it or where to find it. But no, you just find it somewhere. It just takes off to the skies for absolutely no reason. It's just a obnoxious that's looking for a mate. Maybe I should leave you alone. I don't know. You're kind of annoying, so uh, females don't like annoying people. So I'll take care of you. I'll break something. That way you look more vibrant in color. No, I'm sorry. That's actually mean. That that that, that that's at, that's on. Um, that's actually terrible. Why would I talk like that? It's a pretty bird. It's a pretty bird. I like it. I like pretty birds. So I'll just hit it a bunch of times until something else happens. I'm I put to sleep. Okay. So yeah, it's just a normal hypnotic that puts you to sleep, and it's it's a lot more pretty. So yeah. I have faith in your future, just like the just like this just like the survival of this game. There's so much. There's just so much. Maybe it's gonna go come back stronger, more better, for graphics. Probably gonna lease on multiple platforms that's not exclusive to Japan or anywhere else in that region. You can only hope. So Red Lavasioth and uh, and Breeding Season Hypnocatrice were just nothing really all that special. Okay, so up next is I think I know exactly who to go after next. Cause uh, these these monsters are nothing all that special. It's a Zero Rathalos, Rathalos, Pink Rathian, Rathian, Rajang, and some gathering spots. I know exactly what to go after next. Silver Obnoxious, Orange Espinos. So I gotta go find it. Oh, there it is! Right there! White Espinos! I'm guessing I fight White Espinos in, on, on top of the Great Forest Peak. Well then, this ought to be this ought to be good. No, it's not, because it's Espinos, and I don't like fighting Espinos. But it's just for the it's for the sake of the showcasing the rest of these monsters. Okay, it's just Espinos. It's white. Probably gonna be a lot be a lot more of a pain in the ass because whenever you fight a monster in here, it's gonna be powerful and annoying to deal with. Let's see how powerful. Gonna have a lot more poison paralysis projectiles to deal with. And it's sleeping, of course. Activate Laoshan Lung's theme when I when, when I attack you on the head. Hello. How's it going? It's already in rage! Okay, that's different. That's something new. That's something you don't see. So it flashes pink on its scales. And what else does it do? Okay. Uh purple thorns. Albino, albino colors, and just okay. Bites, bites a lot. Just slightly larger. You should step back. Okay. Okay, that's the same. Japan sure loves the. Uh, Japan sure loves their espinos species, don't they? For some reason, this thing is stunning a lot more. Uh, is stunning a lot more. He's getting stunned a lot more. Well, to be fair, uh, while I was off screen from recording this, uh, I did equip some more uh, attack up decorations, so that might explain why this thing is getting stunned quite a lot. But what else makes this Espinos special? I'm guessing it might have a signature move that, I'm, that I haven't seen yet. Well, besides already being enraged the moment it's woken up, which is pretty much what what a lot of Espinos should always act like. Actually, no, that would be ridiculous. And well, yeah, there's the poison. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's just okay. It just flies. Flies. What the hell? What? What 
is that? Please tell me that does not paralyze and poison me. Oh, wow. I like the colors. I like the colors of the fire, but... Whoa. This is what I get for waking you up. Well, word of advice. When you're fighting... Well, when, when, when you first hear Vespinas, word of advice. Don't make it angry, otherwise this will happen. I'm honestly curious. What what actually happens when I when I press that when I touch that fire? Looks cool to look at. I'll give it that. But uh, I haven't really seen what it does. I'll find out. Do I have attack up large? Attack up meat. Wait. I have attack up like medium or attack up a uh, very large on me. Don't have absolute. That 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 would be overkill. That would honestly be overkill if I actually had that 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 amount of power, that amount of that amount of attack to fight this thing. I, okay, do that attack one more time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just gonna go keep my distance. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. And then go place it down. Boom. It does. It does. It does poison me. Why am I not surprised? And it burned? What? What? Okay, it doesn't paralyze me, but it burns and poisons me. Just make sure. Go touch the fire. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah. Oh my god. And now it's docile. It's docile, not really doing, do, doing it. And immediately enraged. Oh god, here we go again. Here we go with this crap. Ah! Why why are you suddenly Disu Faroa? Oh mo! Oh no! Abandoned quest! Ah oh, damn it! I think I've seen enough! I was trying to get out, but I was I was burning in the in a more corrosive type of hell. No thanks. I'll stick with no Espinas. Because I still hate them. That's just too much. I don't like fighting Espinas. Not, I think there's a Zenith Espinas. There he is right there. Hi, how's it going? I'm just gonna go paralyze and poison you at the same time and. Like, stomach you to death. No, I'm, God, I'm honestly glad that I'm not going to go fight that thing. I don't think I'm ever going to fight Zenith Espino. Because why? Why? Out of everything in Frontier that I absolutely hate, it's everything about Espinas. It's just, it's just too much. It's just too much. Everything has to poison. Touch it, you get poison. If you get trampled, you get poison. If you get burned, you get poison. If you get paralyzed, you get poison. Why? Why does it have to be like that? I don't like it. I like everything else. Honestly, fuck Espinos. Just, just, no, that's, that's enough. That's enough. I've had enough Espinas hunts. And I, I, I bet that there's more stuff that it can do in G-Rank, but no, 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 no. Nope. 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 Pretty much reached my limit with, pretty much reached my limit with fighting Espinas. And White Espinas just took the cake. Nope. Nope. Actually, I, I fucked it. I, no. Oh yeah, there's also hardcore white no 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 stop. <sighs> Regardless, 
A lot of these exclusive Frontier monsters uh, were pretty interesting to witness. Lolo and Ray Golgar, Beto Kidosu, Pobodo, Banumu, uh, the, 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 the variants of Lavasa, South and Obnoctrice, nothing at all that special. Obviously, obviously enough, whenever you fight a bigger version variant of of a monster in, on, on the uh, on the Great Forest Peak, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it shit's about to go down. Not that no, it, it well, well yeah, but there's you know there's like hardcore quality Pusu, there's sil there's silver hypnocatrice, there's Dirakusu, and honestly Dirakusu is just so underwhelming. I have no idea why, but there's just something about Dirakusu that just feels so bland in experience. He's very easy to telegraph, and his and his attacks are just like now they're not all that special. I honestly not really all that impressed of Dear Lakusu. Espinas, just just fuck Espinas entirely. I don't like them. Pobodo Bottomo might be a favorite. Beto Kurosu is wow, just just, just wow. Beto Kurosu just like that type of freaking is that that type of guy is like a. Yeah, I have no time to deal with the likes of you. Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna make make this end quickly. I don't have time for this. And he just kills you effortlessly and just like go away. I was like, oh, oh, I see you're using a hammer. That's that's lovely. Oh, great sword shards. Oh wow, a great sword shard strike. Don't even bother. I know exactly what you're trying to do. I'm just gonna go. Just, I'm just gonna. Go. Don't even bother. That, that that's the most clunkiest weapon any hunter can use anyway. Gives me the, gives me the perfect opportunity to strike back so easily. What an intelligent beast Betakilosu is. So yeah, that so yeah that so, so yeah that concludes the uh, normal monster. That includes the normal exclusive monsters of Frontier. Up next are the Elder Dragons. That's gonna be cool. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed this. Th this ep that's the wrong emote again. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again in the next one. This is GVA049 signing out, going offline, and see you next mission. And fuck Espinas.